What's up everyone, James Lynch here doing a quick reaction video to some major news. Yuri Prohaska is out of his main event fight against Glover Teixeira at UFC 282 next month. This according to Kevin Gaioli, and things get even weirder from here. As you can see here, Yuri Prohaska out of 282 with a serious injury. Glover turned down a title fight. Interesting. Yuri vacated. New main event is Blahovich versus Ankalaev. Brett Okamoto giving some more clarification on the situation. He says Yuri is out of 282 due to a severe orthopedic injury. Time frame for recovery is upwards of a year. According to the UFC and Yuri's representatives, it was his decision to vacate the belt out of respect for other contenders. Yuri injuries first reported by Kevin Ioli, like I just mentioned there. And I saw this tweet as well from Spinning Backfist. It appears the Blahovich and Ankalaev will be for an interim light heavyweight belt. Wow, that is a lot to digest. Uh, first and foremost, you got to feel bad here for Yuri Prohaska. He just won the title, one of the best fights of the year. This rematch is going to be amazing. I know he was in Vegas uh, training for the rematch, uh, so he is out. He's going to be out for a year. Uh, that's a serious uh, you know, injury, and it's it's taken him out of the prime of his career. He's 30 years old, so he'll be out a full year by the sounds of it. Uh, that's just some devastating news. Glover not wanting, I, I don't even know who he would have fought for an, a, a vacant title or interim title, I guess, uh, at that point. Maybe Glover, I'm not sure the reasoning. We're still finding out information here, but Glover will not be fighting at UFC 282 either. Um, and, and at his age, at, at 43, what what is next for him if he's not taking this fight? It, it, again, all this is coming by pretty quickly here, um, but you're, curi you're very curious to see what happens with Glover and his future at 43 years of age. Um, maybe he fights the winner of this Ankalaev and, uh, and, and Jan Blahovic fight with the full camp. I'm not not entirely sure, but we're still trying to figure that out. And then, you know, I, I guess the silver lining here is that Jan and Ankle Live is going to be a five round fight, which is something I've argued for for a while. I actually just dropped my breakdown today of uh, Yuri Proha or for, of, um, Jan Blahovich and Megaman and Kalaev uh, earlier today. And I said this should have been five rounds. So, a uh, huge opportunity for both fighters. I think for Ankle Live, you know, you look at his record, he certainly deserves to be in a title pitcher. And for Jan, you know, I know the fight with Rakic ended via injury, but uh, he is someone as well that was a former champion. So, to see him get this opportunity, I think it makes a lot of sense. And thankfully, this was always the co-main event so this is a good uh, replacement for the main event but you gotta feel for Yuri Prohaska in this situation um, you guys already know my pick for this fight I think even with five rounds I'm still gonna go Mega Men and Kalaev as far as my early pick but I will break this fight down uh, again uh, in a few weeks when the fight is coming up on the Saturday I wonder what you guys think in the comment section below was this the right move by the UFC what do you think of Glover not wanting to fight for the title um, what, what do you make of you know and Kalaev and, and, uh, and Jan Blahovich being five rounds uh, let me know in the comments follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And while you're there, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Sorry, I'm trying to talk a bunch at once here. And let me know who you think wins this new main event of UFC 282 with it being five rounds. I'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.